Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's video. And if, if I am welcoming you back and you haven't already subscribed, why is that? Let's rectify this. I know, I can see, I can tell that there's about 75% of the people that watch my videos haven't actually subscribed. So if you're a returning viewer, do me a favor, do yourself a favor, hit the subscribe button. And if I may be so bold, would you mind commenting below and liking and sharing? This will do me a huge favor and I will be forever grateful. I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds to do that right now. Subscribe, like, Danny is great, comment, send, boomf. There we go. So let's get into it. Today, as always, we will be drawing on my experience of life. We will be drawing on my 26, 27 years in the fitness industry. We're gonna be talking about positive thinking. Now, I'm gonna be hitting you with a slightly different angle when it comes to the power of positive thinking. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell you that positive thinking is a load of shit. <gasps> what? How can this possibly be? I'm gonna tell you why. Something that I've noticed in other people, and when I reflect on this myself, thinking positively, saying everything's gonna be okay. Oh, oh, it'll all work itself out in the end. Oh, it's gonna be okay. This happens when this happens. I'm gonna offer you this. It's that very mindset. It's that very train of thought. It's that very way of thinking that's keeping you stuck exactly where you are. Now you're probably watching this going, what the, f what? what is he talking about? Everybody knows positivity is the way forward. And that's not me saying that you should never be positive. But what it is saying is if you're only, if you're only, I was gonna say schedule then, if your only plan is positive thinking, oh, it'll, be, it'll all be okay in the end, you are on a losing streak. Because why would it be? Why would it miraculously get better? Why would things change? Why would your situation improve purely by positive thinking? Positive action beats positive thinking, but positive thinking alone is not a plan. Positive, using positive thinking as your sole plan is exactly the same as just hoping for the best. Hope is not a good plan. Here's the thing, then, and this is what I want you to take from this video. In order for you to get to where you wanna be, maybe you wanna improve your sleep, maybe you wanna lose a little bit of weight, maybe you just wanna be more successful, maybe you just wanna be a little bit happier. What is required is ruthless self-reflection. Ruthless honesty when it comes to auditing your own life. Remove the emotion from it. Is what you are doing right now working? It's either yes or no. If it is not working, which Unfortunately, in the majority of people that I talk to before they come to me, their plans have been all over the place, they've been relying on hope, and nothing has worked. If this is you, ask yourself, why would it change? Why, why would it all of a sudden start working? If I'm not going to do anything different apart from think positively, why, why, would, why would anything change? And it's difficult, it's hard. There's something called the uh, cost sunk fallacy. And that's basically when you invest a large amount of time, a large amount of money into something, even though subconsciously at the back of your mind, you know it's not working, but you've given it that much money and you're giving it that much time that you wanna try and force it. It's almost like you're willing it to work. So like I said, this isn't me saying don't think positively. No, not at all. This is me saying, let's take responsibility. Let's be 
honest with ourselves, ruthlessly, painfully, horribly honest. Is your life right now, is it going the way that you want it to go? It's yes or no. It's not, well, maybe if I could just do that. It's, it's either yes or no. It's cut and dry. Is, is it working for you? Yes. Amazing. Crack on. If it isn't, let's look at why. What are you doing on a daily basis? What are you knowingly doing? Because we generally know that we're doing the wrong things, but we struggle. What are you knowingly doing that's keeping you stuck right where you are? Once we identify that, we can stop doing it. We can stop thinking positively and we can start being proactive. If we're trying to lose weight, is it working? No. Are you eating too much food? Yes. Right. Let's look at that. Let's look at where your current beliefs lie around weight loss. Generally, our beliefs come from our parents. That our beliefs are something which we've been told over and over and over again. We've told ourselves over and over again that much that we now believe it to be true. But if we're honest, if we reflect on the things that we do on, on a daily basis, they're not getting us to where that we want to go, which, which means that we need to change that. We need to get ruthless clarity on what it is that you actually want. Once you've got clarity on what you want, once you've been honest with yourself, once you've removed emotion and you start thinking logically, looking at the situation, we can then get clear on what we want and then we can start to put steps in place on a daily basis. We can start to look at ways that we can increase our ability to focus. The majority of people don't get what they want because they don't have the ability to focus on the task in hand long enough for it to come to fruition. Mobile phones, emails, computers, television, all distracts us from the right path. So let's get clarity on what we want. Let's get clarity on how we get there and let's find a way that we can improve our focus we can improve our ability to pay attention strong enough and long enough to get us where we want to go. So I hope, I hope today's video has made you think a little tiny bit. I hope today's video, moving forward, maybe you'll catch yourself going, oh no, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. When, when, when deep down, you know that it won't. Maybe you'll catch yourself saying it and then maybe you'll call yourself out and you'll go, well, why is it going to be okay? What am I doing that's keeping me stuck exactly where I am? And what can I do right now to move me towards where I want to go? I put a post on social media today talking about there's the, another fallacy is it's always better. Something is better than doing nothing. Unfortunately, the majority of people that I see, the something that they are doing, they want to go that way, but the something is taking them that way. So let's, let's be honest. Let's look. Let's ruthlessly, honestly reflect on what we do on a daily basis and ask ourselves, is it really going to be okay? That's all I've got for you today. Hopefully it's just giving you something to kind of jig you up a little tiny bit to make you kind of look at life through, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Look at life through the, the lens of reality and not through the lens of what you would like it to be. I've, a, I've had a great time. I've really enjoyed doing this video. Don't know if you can tell, I'm a little bit. Whew. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will catch you on the next video. If you're sick of your own shit and you're looking to dramatically increase your daily energy drive and focus, I urge you to click the link so you can get instant access to my upgraded energy blueprint.